Welcome to Claude's vlog number seven. I was going to do a uh, basic vlog intro, but it was really cool, so I dismissed it. But anyway, welcome to Claude's vlog number seven featuring moi, Claude. And today was a pretty easy day. I decided to take out the jump rope for a little bit of a spin. No pun intended. Uh, I woke up with my knees aching, my ankles stiff, my entire body sore. Right, a couple days ago I was doing Zercher everything, Zercher Z deadlifts, Zercher squats, Zercher good mornings, the whole nine yards. Then yesterday I decided to do a little bit of power agility drills that included my legs with some upper body stuff so my entire body is sore. So with that being said, I broke up the, the jump rope to just get the blood flowing, making sure that my muscles are nice and loose. And here I go breaking jump ropes again. I believe this is number 10. Right, this was supposed to be a good jump rope. Well, it's a good jump rope, but I'm just a savage when it comes to the jump rope. Anyway, so I knew for some reason in the back of my head, I knew that something was going to be up with the jump rope. So I said, let me take out my homemade Bulgarian bag. Yes, this is a Bulgarian bag. It's used commonly with wrestlers. It's a great conditioning tool, right? It's a modified kettlebell, so to speak. Uh, it's makeshift. I did this before no i did this peak corona all the gym equipment was out so i said nah i'm not spending 200 bucks for gym equipment let me just get a tire fill it with sand tape it up with duct tape and let's give this bulgarian bag a whirl and here you see me doing some motion stance wrestling stance just moving the motion the bag is 30 pounds so there's 30 pounds on my shoulders and I'm just moving side to side, making sure that I'm developing angles, that whole nine yards. It's a great conditioning tool. My legs were pumped. Right after that, I just did mobility drill, worked the hamstrings, went on my toes, worked the tibialis, worked the knees, going back to the hamstrings and just letting the body flow. I'm all about flow. You're not really going to be seeing a whole bunch of bodybuilding stuff in my channel. You're not going to be seeing me do a whole bunch of stuff that everybody else is doing. I'm doing the stuff that is going to benefit me in the, on the mat. It's going to benefit me in the long run. It's going to benefit my joints. It's going to benefit my athleticism. And in order for me to be the best athlete that I can be, I can't have my head just stuck in one gutter. I have to have my head everywhere. I have to see what everybody else is doing right because if it works for someone it could work for me just because an exercise or a movement looks silly doesn't mean it doesn't have its benefits my mentality is okay let me see who's done it and let me see what kind of results they've produced by doing it and if i see that they've produced the results that i want it would behoove me not to try it out it's as simple as that. Now, it's going to be boring. It's going to be unconventional, the whole nine yards. But if it could give me 1% better, if it could give me 1% advantage over my opponent, the sky's the limit. Because at the end of the day, it's all a mindset. At the end of the day, it's you versus you. It's all a mindset at the end of the day. It's either whether you want it or you don't. If you want it, you're going to find each and every single methodology that you could find in order for you to achieve the thing that you want to achieve. Simple as that. If you don't, you just simply don't. Either you're working or you're going to watch someone else work. And then you're going to be like, damn, why can't that be me? But it can't be you. 